Before stepping into my B.Tech journey, I visited many colleges to find the right one for me. From infrastructure to vibes, faculty to placements, I noted it all. In this video, I'll take you through each of those campuses and show honest insights that might help you out. Whether you're confused or just curious, stay with me till the end. So without any further delay, let's get started. So first we entered Vignan University which is located in Vadlamudi, Guntur, Andhra Pradesh. Then we went to the admission block to know the details and information about the university. Basically, Vignan is a deemed university known for its academic excellence and research. The university holds NAC A plus grade and also has NBA accreditations. It has a huge campus which covers around 42.86 acres of area. It offers B.Tech courses in computer science and its specializations like CSBS, ANML, Cybersecurity, Data Science, IoT and IT and there are so many other branches which you can see here. You can also get scholarships based on your inter marks, diploma marks, VSAT exam, MSET or mains and advanced. Actually there is no entry, lateral entry for diploma students but if you have a good diploma percentage you can go for it there are limited seats available and coming to placements the highest placement package was 44 lpa and and the average package is 5 to 6 lpa different companies like cognizant tcs ibm wipro accenture come and recruit the students of vignan university overall it seemed to be a good university you can expect to have a good package when you are done with btech and education wise it's really good the other day we started to SRM University. It is located in Nirukonda village, Mangalgiri Mandal, Amravati, Andhra Pradesh. We took the entry pass and we were taken in an electronic vehicle till the main block for admissions. SRM is a private university which covers around 100 acres of area. SRM AP is an extended version of SRM KTR so it does not have its specific NIRF rank but it has some private rankings. It is well known for its education, faculty, practical learning and projects. Student faculty ratio is 1 is to 20 and it is also known for its cultural fest, clubs and extracurricular activities. It is famous for its branches like CSC, Mechanical, EC and Civil. You can see their fee structures here. To get a seat here you need to have a good rank in MSET, Mains, Advance and also SRMJ conducted by them. And for your kind information, there is no lateral entry in private universities. So dear diploma students, you can leave the chat. Coming to placements, the highest package here is 50 LPA and the average package is about 9 LPA. And it is well known for its placement and recruited by famous companies like Oracle, PayPal, Autodesk, AMD, etc. Overall, it is a very good, decent university with a modern campus, smart classrooms, labs, spacious hostels and you can also be placed in a good company at the end but you also need to look at the fees and location and all those. The next college which we entered was VVIT, actually VVIT U. By the time we went there, everyone in the admission block was so busy in taking admissions for MSET students. It was also the time for lunch so they told us to have lunch at their cafeteria. VVITU is located in Nambur, Peddakakani Mandalam in Guntur. It was an autonomous college affiliated with JNT UK but, but now it has officially been declared as a university. It covers around 50 acres of area and has a very decent campus. It is well known for its discipline and academics. It offers BTEC in various branches like CSC, AINML, Information Technology, ECE, Civil etc. Fees here is relatively less when compared to other universities. Here is the detailed information of number of seats available for lateral entry through counselling in BVIT. The highest package here is 29 LPA and the average package is 4 LPA which is pretty recent and the top recruiters are Walmart, Flipkart, Infosys like companies. As it has recently turned into a university, many students are aiming to join here and it is also famous for the events and programs conducted here.
Now we are entering the Acharya Nagarjuna University. ANU is one of the front ranking and fastest expanding universities of AP. It is spread over 300 acres of land on national highway between Vijayawada and Guntur of Andhra Pradesh. It was so big that we felt like entering into a new city and it took us a lot of time to figure out which block is for which degree. There were a lot of cafeterias and you can say canteens located in this city like campus. Thank you, coffee. Then we found the administrative block so we entered and came to know about the details of admission. ANCUF is the code for BTEC in ANU and the engineering college is separately called as Dr. YSR College of Engineering and Technology and it is self finance college. Many other autonomous colleges are affiliated with AN University. It is a government university of Andhra Pradesh even though you don't expect a very good hi-fi infrastructure like other universities you can get the best education here different branches of BTEC available here are civil engineering CSC EC triple E mechanical cyber security and ML and data science Here is the data of number of branches and seats available for lateral entry in ANU. Coming to the placements, 19 LPA is the highest and 5 LPA is the average package. It is relatively less but you can directly approach the companies with your skills and knowledge. There were many other degree courses like Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Physical Education, BBA LLB Honours and BA LLB Honours. I didn't even have idea about existence of all these degrees till now. So this was ANU and let's move on to the next one. Now we are entering RVR and JC College of Engineering which is located in Chaudhavaram, Andhra Pradesh. RVR is considered as one of the top most college in Guntur. As soon as we went there, I saw my friend at the entrance and felt so happy by talking to her. It was half day and everybody was going home. So we just came to know about the admission details and saw the college a little bit and came back. RVR and JC is spread around 37 acres of land and it is accredited by NBA and NAC A plus grade and it is also approved by AICTE. It has several branches like CSC, CSM, CST, CSBS, IT, CSE in IOT, ECE, Triple E, Mechanical, Civil and Chemical Engineering. These were the intake for inter plus btech students but now you can see the intake for diploma students that means the students which are going to take later entry here csc csd and csbs students are in cyber block and remaining csm it and cso students are present in high tech block like this different blocks are allotted to different branch students the highest package secured here is 50 lpa in 2021 and the average package is 4 to 5 lpa and here the top recruiters are Tata Consultancy, Cognizant, Amazon, HCL, etc. Welcome to KHIT. This is also located in Chaudhavaram Guntur, so we also visited that. It is an autonomous college accredited with NBA and NAC with A grade. The students were given preparation holidays for exams it seems. So there were no students present at that moment. But we spoke to the faculty and saw some of the classrooms. The environment was pretty clean, clean and green and uh, new blocks were also being constructed there. KHIT also covers about 10 acres of area and it has good faculty for different branches like CSC, CSC specializations, civil, EC, triple E, mechanical and IT. Fees is just 40,000 for conveyor quota but it may be above 1 lakh for management quota. Coming to placements, this college gets decent placement opportunities. You can see the recruiters here. So this was all about KHIT. Now we are entering Vignan's Nerula Institute of Technology and Science for Women. It is located in Pedapalkalu Road, Guntur. It is a pretty decent and good college. There were two different blocks, maybe they are for different branches. So we entered a block and came to know that it is for inter students. So we entered the engineering block. We saw the classroom, the infrastructure and came to know about the details. <laughs> Administrative 
Vignan Sneerula is also affiliated to JNT UK and it has branches like CSC, AI and ML, DS, Data Science, IT, ECE, Triple E, etc. Here are the details for later entry in BTEC. It also has a good placements history by recruiters like TCS, Wipro, Cognizant, etc. Students from here are also sent to Vignan University for placements. So those were all the colleges which I visited. I hope you got some information through this video. Now comment down which college do you guys think that I will be joining. And also let me know if you are student of any one of these colleges. So that's it for today's video. I hope you all liked it. If you did, please make sure to like, share and subscribe to my channel. See you all in the next video. Until then, take care and bye bye.